Growing up black in Orange County was a really interesting experience because only 2% of Orange County's population identifies as black. I was one of five black people in my high school, one of two to three black people in my elementary and middle school. I never really felt like I was able to fit in Enduring or dealing with um, like overt and implicit racism in school kind of caused me to just kind of reject my identity, like reject myself. And because of that, it created a lot of turmoil in myself where I was dealing with a lot of mental health issues that I didn't really understand. And it wasn't really until after high school and into my early 20s that I was able to really understand what was going on and figure out myself a little bit better. Art was definitely an essential tool in helping me explore that. My name is Miles Harrison and I'm an analog collage artist from Orange County, California. One of the biggest reasons I make art is just the pure sense of exploration and expression that I'm able to take away from it. Usually I get the ideas for my art from just flipping through old magazines. I like have tons of old magazines from the 1920s to like the early 2000s. And once I kind of have gathered up a lot of images, I will just begin cutting stuff out. Usually I'll start with what I think would be like great on foreground or just different like objects or figures. One of the most fun parts about it for me is seeing how things line up and kind of working with the materials that I have versus just kind of creating anything out of thin air. With my art, I try to just encapsulate how I'm feeling at a given time or express a specific feeling that I want to get out and like put onto a piece. One of the pieces I'm like particularly most proud of is the piece, uh, No Roses, No Skies. I'm really proud of that piece because that was the first time that I made something that I was personally proud of and felt like, oh shit, like I can, can I cuss in this? Yeah. Fuck yeah. And I'm particularly proud of that piece because that was the first time um, very early on in my art making career where I made something and I was for the first time personally proud of it where I felt like, oh shit, like I can actually make cool stuff or I'm actually like capable of making stuff of value and like really kind of set me off in the direction of like, oh, maybe this is something I want to pursue or like actually show to the world. I got into skating just from one of my friends on like the block that I grew up on. Uh, my friend was older than me and I definitely looked up to them. So I like wanted to emulate everything that they did. So yeah, skateboarding was definitely one of those things where I gained so much from it when I was younger and still to this day, where I've been able to meet tons of amazing people and also just been able to find like a better sense of who I am and better sense of confidence through like pushing myself to do things that I never thought I could do possible. My next steps in the art world are just trying to be in bigger galleries, really. Like, I've had the opportunity of being in a few art galleries, which has been absolutely incredible and just a super humbling experience. So I just want to keep doing that and just keep pursuing that in every way that I can. 
To anyone who's black or a person of color growing up in a predominantly white area like Orange County, just being conscious of your culture and exploring that and how that may play a role in how you navigate the world or how people may perceive you is such a crucial piece of advice that I wish someone shared with me when I was younger. I definitely want to just say thanks to all my friends and family who just like pushed me and supported me through all of my different like artistic avenues and definitely make sure if like anyone else is pursuing that just know that like your friends and family always have your back through all that stuff so definitely don't be afraid to pursue any of that.